Okay, hello everybody. Uh, <clears throat> so today I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of a new robot I just got from Robeson K1. Um, as you'll see in the video, I'm kind of impressed with uh, the overall look, the packaging, the presentation, the production of the robot. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video right now. Kind of show off the robot a little bit and then i'll do some more videos about uh, the robot's capabilities how to program the robot and so on so let's just kind of jump in as you can see this is the box pretty nice looking box robeson k1 website this is just the outside of the box. Very nice. This is just cardboard, so it's probably gonna fall apart real easy. I'm just gonna put this aside, the cardboard outside. So let me open it up. This is the cool part. So this is basically a, a nice styrofoam container. Now for somebody who has competed with humanoid robots before and has traveled with humanoid robots before um, uh, on airplanes and cars and stuff, traveling with a human robot can be difficult at times. Do you uh, check it in your check-in bag? Do you carry it on? I think with this container, it gives you two really solid options. I I would probably feel pretty safe checking this checking this robot in, putting it in a, a, my luggage. Uh, but I would definitely uh, I would uh, what's the word for what I'm looking for? I would support it or uh, cushion it with all my clothes. I would stick it in my suitcase with all my clothes and I put all my clothes around it just to give it more padding support because they can throw around checking bags. But if I had to check in this robot, if I was flying like overseas or something, I think this, this carry-on case is, this carry case is really nice. So you can see here, you get a handle, you can pick it up. Very nice. Gives it the robot some cushioning support. Uh, this is a great carry carrier for the for the robot. They carry it from events and travel with it. So I'm very impressed with this packaging. So here's your. It might fall apart easy, but it, at least for now, I'm very impressed with it. So to unlock it, you got this little tab here, and another one on this side. Very nice. So hopefully I can do this without making everything fall out. So the only thing, the only negative about this is I see, I wish the rope, I wish they had switched it. So it was flipped. Just a little nitpicky little thing. I wish the robot, this is where the head was. Because it almost, to me, it feels like it's upside down. But no big deal. But see how nice and cushion supported inside the package it is. So every, you got everything in the package that you need for the robot. And it's got some cushion support to keep the robot safe. I do like this packaging. This is very nice. I mean, this is a $300 robot. So far, just the packages and presentation alone makes it makes it a good value. So, I got the little higher end one. I don't know exactly all the differences. I think it's the servo difference. But 
cool little packet for the robot. Oh no, I'm gonna. Instruction manual. We'll go through this in another video, but different languages. It's really small. There's really not much to the instructions. There is an app that you can download for it. A quick start guide. Troubleshooting. Pretty standard, straightforward stuff. A lot of the stuff is already, I've already read on the website, so it's not really adding a lot. Okay, so. This is the charger. Just a standard wall charger. Very similar to uh, any of the USB charger. Except it's got the, the plug-ins for the robot. So, looks like USB-C, which is awesome. There's... I'm not sure what these holes are for, but there might be something. There might be an add-on for, for these holes. I'm not sure what it is. So here's the robot. <clears throat> the USB-C and the power port on and off switch. Pretty nice look. It is, uh, the robot feels semi-heavy. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Uh-oh. Here it goes. You just had a... There it goes. I just had to hold down and just hold it down until it started. That's a nice little robot for the price. K1. That's funny. It's actually just kind of moving like it's breathing. Nine hundred and fifty-five grams. I don't know. My skill may be jacked up, but it's saying nine hundred and fifty-five, nine hundred fifty-six grams. It's like it's breathing. It's funny. Little LED. Okay, so I can't find my metric. I don't know what happened to my metric. I'm sorry. About 14 inches tall.
about four or five wide. It's like four, four, four or five by about 14 inches tall. Very nice. So it has an app to control it, Android or uh, iOS app. So at least out of the box, it's very impressive. So this is just a quick unboxing video to kind of show show the robot. Hello, K1. I'm here. Let's try that again. Hello, K1. I'm here. K1. Hello, K1. Hello, K1. Dance. Very cool. So, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do right now. It does have some voice commands it'll respond to. It stands up automatically, you program it, basically a scratch, 3D, voice modules. Hey, K1. I'm here. Hey, K1. I'm here. Move forward. That's pretty cool. Move forward. Move back. Did I say that wrong? Come back. Cancel. Move forward. Cancel. Cancel. Awesome. So that's just right out of the box to get some basic moves. Hey, K1. I'm here. So, like I said, I'll do a series of videos, programming videos, and programming so on. Programming mode activated. <laughs> hey, K1. What did I do? Hey, K1. Okay, right. I think I turned something off accidentally. So anyway, that's just a quick unboxing video of the K1 uh, humanoid robot from Robosun. So it's turning itself off. And uh, I think it's because I canceled it. Uh, so, very cool. I think it's an awesome robot for the price. Uh, uh, I think you'll agree with me. Uh, I'll leave a... Uh, link to the website where you can buy the robot and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions comments you want to see what the k1 could do or if i have k or if you have a k1 just uh, kind of leave a comment uh, in the comment section for this video and uh, i hope to see you in the next video uh, and like I said, this will be a continued series of little videos about how to use and program and with the Robust and K1. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again. Thanks. Bye. Bye for now.